Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see use Ansible to configure Azure App Service. As we all know, Azure App Service enables us to build and host code. This code can be in the form of web apps, mobile backends and RESTful APIs. Using App Service, we can develop the code using the programming language of our choice without managing the infrastructure. App Service supports both Windows and Linux. Automated deployments from any Git repo are supported including GitHub and Azure DevOps. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. I launch the Azure Cloud Shell and I'll maximize it. I'll first of all configure the basic app service. So let me just add the YML file. So I'll do vi first web app dot yml and I'll paste the content here. If you will see from the top, host is local host, connection local. I'll create the resource group name with the my resource group. Web app name would be my first web app. Plan name would be my app service plan. Location would be East US. These are the initial variables. Then the task would be to create a resource group. Then it would create an app service on Linux with Java runtime. You can have .NET, Python, any runtime. You can update it under frameworks. Okay, if you want to go for Windows, you can configure that for Windows as well. Give me one second. You can configure on Windows as well. And now if I scroll down, <clears throat> you will do this. So this would be the app service plan on Linux. So if you would do if you would just save it. So you'll escape shift colon W Q enter. Right. Now you will do Ansible dash playbook first web app dot YML. It will start gathering it and it will execute it. Let me pause the video and come back. You see, we got the error. So it says failed mode app service plan is not known. Unknown attribute of class. Let me paste this. Control C V. Let me change the font. Let's see what it says. It says App service plan is not a known attribute of class. This okay. I think it's because of the name. So if I open up the file again, scroll up my app service plan. So and it's web app name as well. So I'm going to go in the insert mode and I'm going to change the web app name to a server app. Right, escape, shift, colon, W, Q, and again, let's see. It worked, right? So it was because of the web app name. It has to be unique. So there has to be a Azure RM template that should automatically pick up the uniqueness of the name and throw it as a warning. Other than that, we were getting this failed. Okay, so now this app service plan has been created. The app has been created. Now we will create an app and use the Azure Traffic Manager. Traffic Manager enables us to control how the requests from the web clients are distributed to apps in Azure App Service. When app service endpoints are added to an Azure Traffic Manager profile, 
Traffic Manager tracks the status of your app service apps. States uh, include running, stop, delete it. Traffic Manager is used to decide which endpoint should receive the traffic. So in the app service, an app runs in the app service plan. An app service plan defines a set of compute resources for an app to run. You can manage your app services plan and web app in different groups. So let me make another file. YAML, web app dot YAML, and I'll paste the content here. Okay. This local group, local host, local, this is the resource group. Web app name is this. Plan name is the My Linux web app. So I created the app service. The web name was my first web app. I named it to Asar Web App. And it has now traffic manager profile name. This is the endpoint name. Resource group, secondary resource group, app service plan. It would pick up from there. Same, it's creating the Java. It is, so you see here, this is the variables that the, we have defined. And if you scroll down after the resource group, secondary resource group, app service plan, which is available in that resource group, it's going to create the app service on Linux. And it would get the web app facts. It would create the traffic manager profile. Routing method would be performance. We're not going with, with wait it or any other. What are options you mention on the portal or CLI? You would do it from the in the playbook. Then we are adding the endpoints to traffic manager profile. And we'll do this. Web.yml. Let's see. It throws an error. My traffic manager profile dot this already exist domain name. Okay. So what we will do is we will open it and we'll go up my traffic manager profile. So we will change it by pressing the shift I to get into the insert mode. Of the VI editor. We'll change it both. Okay. Escape, shift, colon, WQ, enter. Run it again. All right. It worked this time. And now we will create an app and use the uh, Azure Traffic Manager. Sorry, we did that, right? So when you get the output, you see that uh, if you go into the all resources, all right, you see this Azure Traffic Manager profile and Azure Web App. Click on here. So if you would visit this, you see this. And if you would go to the all resources traffic manager profile, this is your DNS name of the traffic manager profile. If you paste it here, you see the same thing, right? Because the traffic is heading on to the traffic manager and is going back to the web app because if you would see the endpoint here and you click on the endpoint, you would see that the uh, the type is your endpoint. The target resource type is the app service, which is my Linux web app. And that is why it is going to this endpoint and you're seeing this. All right, so I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any queries, 
please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day